because it's un it's global, so it helps your opponent too. So that's not good. Unless you just have like a super tribal soldier deck, maybe, and they don't have any tribes. Consume spirit uh, has always been good. X X and one in black. Uh, you can only spend black mana on the X. Uh, does X damage to target creature or player, and you gain X life? So yeah, always been good. You get some tempo back, and it's uh, gets better later in the game. Convincing Mirage. It's very cool art. Um, otherwise, it's really bad. Uh, I don't know why this couldn't have draw a card on it or something. Uh, colorless and a blue enchantment. Uh, enchants a land. Um, as it enters the battlefield, choose a basic land. Um, enchanted land is the chosen type. So. Uh, I think this may add that type to the land instead of... No, this is, is... Yeah, I don't think this adds. So Whatever it used to be, it ceases to be, I think. Uh, Coral Merfolk, 2 for a 2-1. Colorless and a blue for a 2-1 Merfolk. Um, it's a reprint. It's fine. It's uh, just Grizzly Bear, basically. Not not great, though. Crawl Worm has always been pretty solid in base set drafts. Um, can take those after you take your removal. Or any creatures that are you know significantly better. Cudgel Troll is a new card. Uh, two mana and two green for a 4-3 troll. Um, one green regenerate. Uh, it's always good to have regenerate only cost one mana. When it costs two, sometimes it becomes awkward to protect your guy. Even at one, it gets annoying sometimes. Because uh, you have a higher casting cost guy, you want to drop next to you. Pretty solid. This guy's even better because he's the reach. So Take him pretty highly. Um, pretty much all, take him almost as highly as regular removal. Death mark, one black, destroy target green or white creature. In run into decks where you wouldn't have a target for this limited, so I wouldn't take it immediately. Artwork on this is actually really cool. It's really scary looking. Pretty realistic eye. But very good sideboard card. Demon Demon's Horn, the black life gain artifact. Demonic Tutor got reprinted. It's always been marginal uh, in limited. I, uh, if I have some bombs, I'll play it. Um, some decks I'll just play it, you know, if I have a lot of removal and such, especially cheap removal. But uh, So, you know, in a pinch you can pay four, search for your lightning bolt, you know, when you have five mana and kill their guy. Um, but, um... It's a, it's a mid-range card. It depends on what you have in your deck a lot. So definitely not an aggro card. Wouldn't play that in an aggro deck. Unless I had some really convincing bombs to do it. Disentomb is a renaming of Raise Dead. It's one black sorcery return target creature from your graveyard to your hand. I don't know why it can't be instant. Although I suppose Disentomb doesn't sound like an instant process, but whatever. Um, for, let's forget the flavor. Um, it's if you have some bomb creatures you really want to get back, um, that's fine. You could play it. A bunch of really good come into play effect creatures or something. Um, but generally I wouldn't play it. Um, so it depends on your deck. But regardless, you know, take it towards the end of the pack when there's nothing else to take. Uh, disorient uh, is toilet paper. Um, it's a new card they printed. Uh, they're making. Three colorless and a blue, instant. Uh, target creature gets minus seven, minus zero until end of turn. And uh, yeah, that's pretty terrible. Uh, four mana to give a creature zero power. Wow. <laughs> uh, let's see, Divination. Uh, reprint of, um, renaming of Council of the Sortami, which was in 10th uh, edition, which kind of confusing. Magic 2010 versus 10th edition. I don't know why they couldn't... Uh, I guess they just wanted to make it based on the year now, since they're going to do it every year. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, people are going to get so confused about that, like, 10 years from now. It'll be like, if Magic is still around, I guess. Um, you know, what do you mean? 
It's in 10th edition. It's not in 10th edition. It's like, no, it's in 10th edition. Oh, you mean Magic 2010? Oh, uh, what do you mean? I don't know. What? Yeah, Magic 2010. It's the same thing. No, it's not. There's two different sets. It's retarded. Anyway, two colorless and a blue. So we draw two cards. Same thing. Um, uh, a lot of base set drafts just come down to card advantage. Um, so something like Divination, I don't mind taking relatively high. Uh, I take really good creatures. Removal, really good creatures, and then I start taking things like Divination before solid creatures. So it's like the fifth, sixth pick. Uh, Divine Verdict is decent. It's a new card. Three colorless and white, instant. Destroy target attacking or blocking creature. Um, I don't like it that much because you wasted uh, your attack. So your guy didn't get through, right? You kill him after he got to block. Um, uh, it's better when they attack, you know, uh, of course then you have to wait and then they get to see that you have the mana open, which sucks too. Whereas on the attack, you know, they just assume you're going to play your stuff after the attack phase. So, um, it's certainly one of the lesser removals, but it's removal, so you'll take it over most creatures. Gen of Wishes uh, is a bomb. Um, five mana for a 4 4 flying. Um, so it's air elemental. Um, comes into the battlefield with three wish counters on it. Um, uh, you pay four mana, it looks like. Um, two colorless and two blue. You, reveal the, you remove a wish counter from them, you reveal the top card of your library, and you can play it for free. Um, So, if it's a land, I appreciate. Yeah, you can just play it. If it's anything else, you can just play it. So, ridiculously good and limited. Uh, constructed, probably not. Once again, Doomblade. Oh, two mana. Gen of wishes. You die before my opponent untap you. Anyway, uh, colorless and a black. Destroy target non-black creature. Now, terror, I guess, was non-black, no artifact, but it can't. Couldn't be regenerated. This one can regenerate, but it's just non-black, so it can hit artifact creatures. Uh, fine. Okay. Uh, I don't really like the picture. Um, it's random bolt. I guess that's supposed to be a blade and angel falling and stuff. Uh, it's kind of a bad execution. Um, looks like the canvas has been burned in half, and the edges of it are curling here, and they just kind of laid the two halves there and took a picture of it. Um, yeah, anyway, the but I'm sure a lot of people will foil them out and whatnot because it'll be a staple and constructed and top pick and limited. Uh, Dragon Whelp, um, it's always good. Four for two, three flying, fire breathing. Uh, you can activate it up to three times a turn without, or even more, and if you activate it more than of course, it's a reprint, so yeah, guy's amazing. So, definitely very high pick and limited. Uh, one of the new dual lands, uh, Dragon Soul Summit. It's the black red. Um, all the new lands basically say if you control a swamp, um, one of the two land types or the colors they produce, so swamp and mountain for this one, um, then it just comes into play. Otherwise, it comes into play tap. So early game, first turn, a little, you know, or any turn you don't have a basic land out, it's going to come into play tapped. Later in the game, it comes into play untapped. They're, they're amazing, uh, especially for control. Any kind of slower or mid-range deck just loves these because they're going to have one of the basic lands out anyway. So, yeah. And so you don't have to, like, put in put into play tapped your top decked land when you need your fifth mana or whatever. Um... Dread Warlock is a new card, colorless and two black. Um, he has kind of like a new version of fear. Um, uh, there is no fear in um, this set, so they took out the enchantment fear and fear off of all creatures. Um, this guy just says he can't be blocked except by black creatures. He's a human wizard, so he can. Uh, so artifact creatures can't block him. 